Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my end. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and in a world we can't see. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration. Yes, we can. Thank you, Satan. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Which didst weaken the nations? And there's found no more place for them in heaven. And he's cast down to the earth. He's cast down to the earth. The Lord Jesus says, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And down he comes. And now he comes down to his kingdom and his domain. He decided that instead of being a subject like the other angels, he would be a king. And he chose as the place to be king this world. And he persuaded a third of his fellow angels to join him in the conspiracy. And therefore he controls this world through those agents. And therefore he controls this world through those agents. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world. Did you notice that Jesus didn't quarrel and say, but they're not yours to give? Jesus never took Satan lightly. He said, I'm not going to be your subject. I serve only one king. He offers in his sovereignty anything we want, any pleasure we want, any power we want, any fame we want, they are his to give too. Since he controls this world, he can offer you anything in this world you want. But the price you pay is an addiction which enslaves you to him. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And one of the urgent needs of today is not only that people come to faith in the kingdom of God, but that they also come to faith in the kingdom of Satan. Not faith in terms of trusting, but faith in terms of believing that there is such a kingdom and learning to recognize it. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Let's look further into the kingdom of Satan. He is a king 
Jesus called him the prince of this world, the ruler of this world, and Paul calls him the God of this world. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. What happened in the book of Genesis is when man, Adam, literally abdicated the throne that God had given him because he gave him dominion over the earth. Being given dominion over the earth, Adam was the king of the earth in that sense because he was the king over the kingdom of heaven. But when he fell by saving his wife from death, and that's exactly what he did, when he fell by doing that, it cost him the throne cost him the crown and the crown reverted back to the devil Satan it reverted back to the one who has the power of death but if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army, and the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. We always remember that he is our sworn enemy. He's the enemy of our soul, and the only one that had ever overcome him. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That's Satan's version of the Lord's Prayer, and most churches use it. Do you know what Jesus said when he first gave it? Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And Satan's managed to even deceive people that evil is something rather than someone. So we never mention Satan in the Lord's Prayer now, and Jesus intended us to. But you should finish every day praying, Deliver us from the evil one, for yours is the kingdom, the power of the glory. And I pray this now in Jesus' holy name. Father, let the Holy Spirit break through that blindness that Satan has settled down on their soul. And let them reach up to take hold of the Son of God. With whatever small amount of faith they have, let them reach up and take hold of Him. In Jesus' name, and for Jesus' sake, Amen. 
greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist.